Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today is a super exciting one because we're getting some new fish for this tank right here, finally! So what fish are we gonna get? You guys will see in just a short while. But we're getting something that stands out because the colors in this tank are all green. There's no red plants in here. Let me give you a quick look. So the lights are currently turned off and that's because it's still morning, cover is still on. But yeah, you can see we've got green plants. The Hygrophila pinnatifida has a little bit of red, but nothing that stands out. Not like Rotala HRA that becomes a bright red. So I want a fish that's red. So a red fish, what 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 fish are red in color? Well, I, I don't want to spoil it now, but you guys will see later. Super excited. You can see shrimp are in there doing well. Stem plants in the back starting to get taller. We fixed up this side a few days ago. You can see they're doing well as well. So really happy about that. You'll be able to see the tank much better once the lights are turned off turned on they turn on at 1 no 12 o'clock right now it is 10 30 in the morning so at 12 o'clock the lights turn on we probably won't be here for that because i'm gonna go out and get some fish during that time but for now i'm gonna just take this cover off oh we're living in the present mm, but our mind is in the past Look at all the moss in there that we didn't get to siphon out the last time. I'm not sure if you can see this, but you see that? That right there is a tiny little snail. And man, this just gives me a good idea. I think we should set up a puffer fish tank, a little dwarf puffer fish tank, so that when we get snails, we can feed it to the puffer fish. I'm not sure, but what do you guys think? For this tank right here, this is the scrapscape tank that we did. The plants are starting to grow in now. It looks really nice. I think once we get more plants in here, I think three dwarf puffer fish would be nice. I'm not sure though. I've never kept dwarf pea puffers before, um, but I think it would be quite cool to have that. In a few days, I've got a rack, a rack system arriving. Kind, kind of impulsive, but I, I know what I want to do. I know I want to make this happen. And I want to have like a breeding rack as well as a plant only rack. And I think if I can breed these guys, that's, that's like one of my missions. I want to breed these fish right here. I've got to grow them out first, get their colors going, get them nice and healthy. I've even started to make my own brine shrimp hatchery. It's still not completed yet. Works in progress. Very much inspired by Dean's fish room. He's an amazing guy. Got an amazing fish room. Beautiful fish room and a really great fish breeder, master fish breeder. And yeah, I'm trying to copy him a little bit, but I've also got some acrylic yarn right here. Is, th is this the type of yarn you use for making spawning mops? I'm not sure. If, if you guys know, comment down below. Um, yeah, I'm trying to spawn some fish. But before I can do all that, I've got to clean this space up. It's just, it, it's just quite dusty and stuff. So big clean out coming soon. My rice fish are doing very well. Look at them swimming actively. I just fed them, so I'm not gonna feed them again, but... Oh wait, we have snails in here too, so if we get puffer fish, we can collect snails from this little setup too. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Before we go and get the fish, let's take a look at the little rice fish ponds. There's my uncle right there looking at car parts. Look at this. I made him this like 10 years ago, this Volkswagen. There's a Honda Fit. If you guys like cars, Comment you like cars down below. I love cars. All right, let's take a look. We've got to put on the hideous slippers. I've got blue ones now. Before, I had to wear the pink ones. All right, and these slippers are annoying. All right, so look right here. These are all the little babies. Some of you may notice that there's a few less babies in here, and that's because we put them in there. So this is the one we just set up a few days ago. And I decided to just give it to my aunt, let her do whatever she wants. She wanted to put these babies into there. So she split it like 50-50. So now there's some babies in this one. You can see them all swimming around. And the plant is starting to grow already. Look, right here, it's sending out a new little plant leaf. And 
Some are starting to come up above the water surface from below. There's some hair grass in there. It would be amazing if the hair grass carpeted out. I think that would look super cool. Not so sure though. And then there's all the other little rice fish doing nice and well. Once these little rice fish start to grow and get a little bigger, we keep some for the next generation. Rice fish live only like two to three years. Um, so if we're lucky, maybe three, four years. So yeah, we keep some. You can see there's a lot in there. And then others we give away to friends, people who want them because there are quite a lot of people here in Japan that keep rice fish and they love keeping rice fish and like kind of collecting you know so next time maybe in the future I can bring you to one of my friends house he's got a lot of little rice fish ponds really nice really cute backyard um, maybe we can go there in someday check that out lights just turned on now let's go and get the fish So right here, this is where they sell the fish and they've got two tanks in there as well with some fish for sale. But let's take a look at this. So right here you've got some kind of tetra. I forgot the name of this but it's a really nice looking one. Is that a tetra? There's, there's some, yeah, this, this thing, that's what it's called. That's a scientific name. But then you also have a Tucano tetra. Look at that. Beautiful little tetra. Quite pricey though, but it's beautiful. And then in these two tanks you've got some Japanese rice fish. These are the Medaka rice fish. You've got the blue color ones and the white ones. Kind of hard to tell the difference between blue and white, but they're still very nice. Here you've got the green neon tetras. These were the fish that I was thinking about getting first, but then I changed my mind and wanted to get a red color fish. And here you've got a couple Galaxy Rasboras or the Celestial Pearl Danios. Hard to see because they're all the way at the back. I think I scared them off. And then you've got this little fish. Really cute. It's got a spot on its tail. If you know what that's called, comment down below. And then here, these are the fish that I wanna get. This is the Ember Tetra. And look how beautiful and red they are. Well, orange, orange is red. But yeah, they are amazing. And they're pretty small too, so I think it's a good size to start off with. In this tank down below, you've got some mixed varieties of fish. You've got some larger tetras, as well as the white fin rosy tetra. Look at how beautiful they are, like a pinkish color. And then you've got the popular cardinal tetra. Wabikusa selection, really amazing plants. These can go immersed and submerged. So you can have them growing out of water or in the water as well. And in this tank down below, you've got the ram, the German blue ram. Looks really nice. There's a couple of them, but there's so many hiding spots for them. But yeah, you can see they're starting to come out now. And then up here, you've got cherry barbs. This was another fish I was thinking about. Really nice, but the cherry barbs do get a little bit bigger. So that's why I decided to get the ember tetras. Oh, look right there. There's a little baby. You see that little red thing? That's a little baby cherry barb. So it's amazing, these cherry barbs are having babies in this tank. Where did it go? Where did it go? I was also thinking about getting the ruby tetra. You can see two in this tank. They're beautiful, but the thing is they are a little bit skittish. I've got the little tetras right here. Let's get back home. All right, I'm back. We've got the ember tetras right here. There's 20 of them in this bag. Really nice. And I've got my drip acclimator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them go in the bucket and drip acclimate some of the tank water into this bucket. It's been a good couple of days. The ember tetras have been doing really well in here. You can see they're all still small and swimming around. Really cute. 
And I've made a few changes to this tank. I've lowered the substrate. Um, I think it just looks much better like that. Gives it more depth. Um, I think like it just looks better having it thinner. And then I've put some Valsneri Spiralis in the background just to add some height. And let me know what you guys think about that. I'm really liking it. Um, yeah, the Tetras are looking really good. They're all eating really well too. You can also finally start to see the Cryptocrine axelrodi start to grow. So hopefully that gets bigger. Um, yeah, it's still very small, but it's grown a little bit and there's a little Amano shrimp. I was thinking about doing Cardinal Tetras or Ramino Tetras, but they get a little bit long. And this is a small tank, it's 60 cm long. So I really wanted small fish for this tank, just to make the tank look bigger. So my uncle's out there giving his rice fish some food. He's just holding and staring at his rice fish. Come on, give more. Put more food in. He does this every single day. Like He just stands there and gives his fish some food. It's kind of funny, but kind of cool that he loves his fish so much. hope you guys enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up if you did subscribe to this channel if you're new here and I'll see you guys next time